Hey, I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and today you're going to learn how to get a random row from Google Sheets using Zapier. This can be handy for so many different reasons. The, the reason I'm making this video, what prompted this is that a friend of mine wanted to post a random podcast or blog post of his to Twitter or social media every day, kind of like a poor man's meet Edgar, if you've ever seen that tool before. But yeah, so sharing uh, random content of yours each day or even multiple times a day is possible uh, using the, what you're about to learn. Another idea might be promoting a different offer each week. For example, I have a Facebook group and I have a tool of the week and it just randomizes a different tool each week that I love and use and promotes it to the group. Uh, or you might want to just something simple like send yourself a motivational quote or your team a motivational quote each morning. There are so many different uses for this. It's a really good tool to have in your tool belt when you are using Zapier. If you'd like more cool tips on automating your business with Zapier and becoming more productive, please hit that red subscribe button below. I release regular videos just to help you get more done in less time and just become way more productive. That's it. Let's get on with this video. So here is a sample spreadsheet I've got that contains just a few of our old blog posts on my Content Snare blog. We're going to try and pick a random one of these to post on Twitter. So over at Zapier, let's go ahead and create a new Zap. Obviously I'm already logged in here. I don't go into detail for how to set up an account and log in for every single video. If you'd like to, if you're not super familiar with Zapier, I will link to my Zapier tutorial video right below this in the video description. But for now, we're just going to click make a Zap. We need to decide on a trigger, but I'm going to keep this one really simple for this video. We're just going to use schedule by Zapier to run this workflow every day at 9 a.m. And maybe we don't want to share something on our social media on the weekends. So we just set that up there and go to continue. Run the trigger as you normally would and continue. And the next step is to look up a random row in the spreadsheet. That's actually three different actions in Zapier. There are lots of different ways to do this, but in this case, we're going to be used through three different actions. And those are first find out how many rows are in the sheet, then generate a random number between, you know, one and uh, the number of rows and then get the row that matches that number. So let's step through that. First, we're going to need to set up the spreadsheet. So jumping back over here, we need a couple of new columns. The first one is the row number. And we need that because once we know, once we have the random row number, this column will have every row number in it. So we can literally just look up, say, row eight, and this would have the number eight in it, this one here. Uh, and then we can bring that back into Zapier. So the way we're going to set this up is just go to the very first one there. I might expand this. And the formula we're going to use is equals row. Open bracket, close bracket, and that gives us the row number. And we can fill it down here. And the next one we're going to need is has value. So you can call this whatever you want, but all this is really saying is, is there a value in this row? So for example, here, there's nothing in it. So we don't want that to say there is a value. The formula we're going to use, which will be in the description, I'll put it in here and zoom in on it so you can see it. But it's basically saying we're looking at cell B2, which is this one here. So if the URL is blank, then we're putting in nothing, just no text at all, blank. Uh, that's what, that's the if statement here. And if there's something in it, we're gonna write true in that column. So if I hit enter, you can see it says true. And if we were to fill this down, you'll see that once it gets past here, because there's no URL, it's blank. So if we type something in there, that will become true. Now, one thing to think about here is that every single time you create a new row, like if we have a new blog post here, we actually have to remember to make sure that those formulas are filled into the new columns. 
Sometimes Google is smart enough to automatically do it, but you saw then it just didn't do it. Um, so I tend not to rely on it automatically filling them down. It just means that every time you add a new post, you're going to have to fill this, uh, these two columns out just by, you know, highlighting and dragging that box down. Now there is a more advanced way to do this. It makes this a lot easier. So you never have to remember to populate these values, but we are getting into fairly advanced uh, Google Sheets territory here but you will be able to just copy the formulas straight in. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna make sure we've deleted everything back to row number and has value. And we're going to be using array formulas and I'm gonna click into C2 here, go to formulas and paste in this. And what array formulas are basically doing is filling out this formula in every other row um, after A2, right? So I'll, I'll show you here, if I hit enter, See, even though that formula is only in uh, C2 there, it's actually running that formula on basically every other row in this whole column. Um, and this formula is very similar to what we were saying before, but now we are saying if the URL is blank, we put nothing here. Uh, and if the URL is there, then we put the row number there. That's, that's really all it's doing. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for has value. And remember, these formulas will be in the video description below. Again, I'm just going to paste this one in. Very, very similar to what we had there before. You know, if it's blank, we'll put uh, nothing there, otherwise true. And then the array formula version of it. And of course, we get an error. Uh, so it's saying we've got data in D22. So that must have been something left over from a formula that I typed in before. So I'm just going to go through there and delete. <laughs> everything there you go so now that is working and the benefit of doing it this way you know it might be a little bit more effort to get it set up but you don't have to worry about accidentally forgetting to fill out these formulas later on when you add a new blog post so that's pretty much everything we need to do in the spreadsheet itself so let's jump back over to zapier the first thing we're going to do is try and get the last number, right? Because we want to generate a random number between two and 20 in this case. So then we can look up the row number in this column and then get the corresponding row and post that on Twitter. So first thing we need to do, we know number two is always going to be there. So we don't need to look that up, but we just need to find the last number here. So back over at Zapier, we're going to create an action using Google Sheets and to do a lookup spreadsheet row. I'm gonna find that sheet that was just been created. Choose the first worksheet. And then for the lookup column, we're going to use has value. And I'll show you why in a second. The value we're going to look up is true. Because as you remember, we've got true in all of that column. And we're also going to choose a bottom up search. So what that's going to do is start from the bottom rather than the top. It's going to start from the bottom and keep looking at cells until it finds a true, which is of course going to be this row here. And then we're going to get this row back, which should have the number 20 in it. So again, we just, all we're doing there is looking up the has value column for true with a bottom up search. That's the only settings you have to choose there. We run this test. And there we go. And you can see we've got uh, the row number of 20, the title of the blog post and the URL, but we don't actually care about this at this point. I'm just going to continue on. You might wanna rename this step here to say, get the last row in Google Sheets. And uh, move on. So now we need to get that random number between two and 20. Right, so we're going to use formatter by Zapier. Working with numbers. And we're going to use a spreadsheet style formula. Now Zapier allows different formulas to be used in this box. So you can click on this, it will open up their help. Uh, but the one we're going to be using is Rand between here. So they have a formula where you can just say ran between minimum, maximum, and it picks a random number. Pretty simple, right? So let's go ran between, open bracket. We know two is gonna be the smallest, comma. 
And then we just want to put in the number of the last row. So we'll open up step two there and go uh, row number or ID, doesn't really matter. In this case, they're both going to be the same. And close bracket and continue. Run a test and it got number eight. So again, you might want to rename that uh, and then move on. Now we're going to look up the row. So again, we're going to use Google Sheets. Look up spreadsheet row. I'm just going to skip through this because the initial setup is exactly the same as last time. But this time we're going to be using the lookup column of row number. And that's why we created that extra column. So now we have the number eight, right? Uh, and now we just need to find row eight in this sheet uh, using that column. So we're going to look up column row number and the lookup value is going to be the random number we generated there. We continue and test. And hopefully we get row eight. There you go. What's row eight? Best CRM for web designers. Boom. There we go. Now this spreadsheet is quite basic here. So we've only got the title and the URL, but you could have anything you want. Yeah, you could have hashtags that you use on Twitter. You have all kinds of stuff uh, that you could pull out of this. This is just a very simple example with title and URL. You can add these two columns to any spreadsheet you like and generate the random row in exactly the same way and get all that data back into Zapier here. But in our case, uh, let's just go ahead and put this on Twitter. Create tweet. And then we might just put the title of the blog post, which came from here. There it is, the best CRM for web designers, and then the URL. And yeah, put some hashtags in or something, whatever you like. Again, you could pull any information from that spreadsheet. For example, when I'm promoting uh, different offers each week randomly, I have another column here that has a bunch of text in it, which is my own commentary on why I think this is a good offer. Um, and then you could pull that straight into the tweet. Um, that's really it. Hey, so at this point, I'm not going to go and test that because I don't want to put that on my Twitter right now. But this zap is now ready to turn on. And every day at 9am, we're going to get the last row in the spreadsheet, generate a random number between two and the last row, and then just get the corresponding row. And we're ready to post that on Twitter or do whatever you want to do with it. That's it. Now that you know it's possible to get a random row from Google Sheets with Zapier, hopefully that gets your mind going thinking about some different workflow ideas that you can implement in your business. Remember, uh, from the start, a few examples might be sharing random content of yours on social media. Like We could extend, expand this from just Twitter to go to multiple channels. I use Buffer, for example, and instead of having that one step at the end that sends to Twitter, I might have five steps that send it to LinkedIn, Twitter, um, uh, Facebook and whatever else, Instagram, um, you know, if there's an image involved, you know, you could send yourself new motivational quotes, send your team motivational quotes, choose random offers to promote each week. There are just so many different ways you can use this. So I hope that's helpful. And I hope you use this in the future to save yourself some time. Remember, if you'd like more tips on how to automate your business and get more productive, hit that red subscribe button below or head over to jimmyrose.me and subscribe to my email list there where uh, you'll learn just new tips and ideas uh, regularly. That's it. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and I'll see you in the next video.